A judge decided to let a Castle Hill City Councilwoman keep her seat, at least for now. That's after questions were raised about whether Sylvia Gonzalez was legitimately sworn in as a council member. Gonzalez and fellow Castle Hills Councilwoman Leslie Winger were recently arrested for their alleged efforts to try to get the city manager fired. A 20-year-old man pleaded guilty this week to raping multiple women in San Antonio's medical center area several years ago. San Antonio police say Anton Harris targeted women while he was pretending to jog through apartment complexes. The first case dating back to 2015 when Harris was just 16 years old. Less than a month after it opened, an emergency detention facility for migrant children in Carrizo Springs is shutting down. The 1,300-bed center opened June 30th to alleviate dangerously overcrowded and filthy detention Border Patrol facilities. But the number of unaccompanied migrant children coming into the U.S. dropped by several thousand from May to June. Zebra mussels are threatening the flow of water for people living in Canyon Lake. The Canyon Lake Water Service Company found one of its water intake pipes encrusted by zebra mussels after noticing a drop in water production. The utility says the mussels moved into the area a few years ago. They're asking people not to water their lawns or do any non-essential outdoor watering until they can fix the problem. A church's mission to build tiny homes for the homeless stalled this week after the city shut it down. That's because Last Chance Ministries never pulled permits for the construction and the area is not properly zoned, according to the city. The site received 61 citations dealing with safety, plumbing and wiring. The city says it had been working with the church to try to make corrections, but construction continued, so the city cut the power to the property. The pastor for Last Chance Ministries said he understands the project has challenges and meetings are scheduled for next week.